Justin, would you please lead the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Suzette, can we call the roll, please? Yes. Ms. Klug, I believe she's on her way. Mr. Sikich? Present. Mr. Keller? Here. Mrs. Justum? Here. Mr. Ustrup? Here. Mr. Schultz is excused. Mr. Lee? Here. Mr. Bailey? Here. And President Emmon? Here. And Ms. Klug is here, here now. <laughs> so thankful the elevators were in service tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Proper notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the open meeting laws of the state of Wisconsin. Um, Superintendent Lexman, or any board members, do you have any additions or modifications to tonight's agenda? Uh, yeah, I have one change. I'd like to pull or ask to pull 10.1, the field trip to Orlando, Florida. Uh, the teacher organizing that contacted the office, and they only have five students at this time, so they don't need an approval. They're not going to go with only five students. They're going to keep working on it. 10.1, okay. <coughs> Do we have any public comments? We have no public comments at this at this time. Okay. Um, then we will move on to item number seven, the superintendent's report. Okay, thank you. Um, the board has the legislative update from August 27th. I'm just going to highlight a couple of things here. So um, Tony Evers has proposed in the um, budget process a boost in funding for all day kindergarten for four-year-olds. So that I think the board's aware that we get partial funding. So a, a four-year-old doesn't count as a whole kid, so to speak, or a whole member. Um, and so that I think would be um, very helpful and would have support all across the state. And then we've got some um, legislative agenda from the School Administrators Alliance. And so they're proposing or, or supporting a revenue limit increase of $200 per pupil in each of the two years of the bi biennium budget, um, increasing the low revenue ceiling uh, to $9,900. And it's getting into a place where um, it may impact us at some point. Um, additional grant resources for school mental health, and this is to provide more direct care in schools. Uh, expanding summer learning. Um, <coughs> reimbursing at least 30% of aidable costs for special ed. And then fully reimburse districts for costs <coughs> for the high cost special education that exceed $30,000. Uh, and that would uh, be helpful for the handful of students we have here and there that where we pay tuition um, in other schools. Um, transportation aid to go up, high cost transportation aid, um, and then sparsity aid, which would not impact us. It's really uh, to support school districts that really are in northern Wisconsin that um, have few kids but cover many, many, many square miles, even hundreds of square miles. Um, and then um, some support in educator preparation, recruitment, and retention um, is where the SAA is lining up. And then finally, um, the, to repeal the school start date law. Um, which comes up every two years. Uh, so that's going to be agenda from the School Administrators Alliance. Um, in terms, uh, there are new congratulatory resolutions um, for 7.2, but as the school year begins, we'll start to see that again. And then in some updates, first I want to draw your attention to what's uh, rolling on the screen right now. And uh, these are, oh, first of all, there was no public comments on August 13th, so I don't need to respond to anything from that meeting, sorry. And then. These are quotes from our new teachers. They were at um, closing the Achievement Gap Consortium meeting. Uh, was, so the, the, all of the districts that are members of that consortium um, gathered at um, Homestead High School in Mequon. And it was some training around culture, culturally responsive practices um, is what they engaged in. And Deidre facilitated kind of a uh, reflection at the end of one of the days. And it was a pretty heavy day. Um, in terms of the content and the expectation and the push um, to be more culturally responsive. And these are the comments that the teachers wrote as the reflection of what they're going to take away and what they're going to do. And we just thought it was interesting that um, what they experienced after that um, short period of time and what their commitments are to help us move forward. And um, then th this morning, we had our big kickoff, um, and Jeff was there, and then I didn't get a chance to recognize Christine and um, Bill had also showed up and we were all in the middle of everything. Um, <laughs> but it was a powerful morning for us and I, you know, a lot of it is um, credit to Deidre for planning and getting us hooked up to George Kuros. And so these are some of the 
um, Twitter responses directly to George <coughs> while he was speaking, and a little bit of um, cut it between here is some of, um, you know, my work in this. This was we brought an African dancer in that did a dance experience live with um, a, a teacher or a representative from each school, trying to really the to um, really encourage to change practice to try new things, um, and. I didn't know how it was going to work. It was hilarious, and I think it worked fine. And the little little five-year-old um, girl that was in the front stole the show. Um, it was really <laughs> very sweet. And so the, the feedback has been powerful, and, and so it gives us, you know, an elevated spirit to begin the school the beginning school to begin to start the school year, but then also to carry us forward. Right. So these, this is the kind of moment where you turn back to when in, in, in the middle of the year in January and have our PE day to remind people of you know, the power and the inspiration that they experienced uh, this morning. Uh, and so I just want to thank everybody that was a part of that. This was an email I got um, just minutes before walking up here. You know, it was the best PD she's ever had in 17 years. And I thought, wow, um, this one really has, I think, hooked people in powerful ways. Um, and then um, last, it, the the board received a letter, and then I um, also there were five additional email supporting a change to the interdistrict transfer policy that would allow 4K students to follow siblings that are in non-neighborhood schools. And you know, Stephanie and I emailed back and forth a little bit. The constituent that sent the letter asked to have it read it into the, the record, which is not a practice the board has been engaged in. Uh, so we didn't feel it was appropriate to start something new because then you could create that going forward. But at the same time, to acknowledge that it's been received, the board um, has received uh, that uh, letter. And then it, it is something that we've talked about in the past, and I think going forward it's something we want to <coughs> visit and look at again. Um, and I, we're really in the window where that can be done. So within September, October is when we really need to have a conversation about or do we want to make any changes, then there's a little bit of time um, to be able to bring those back around um, really in December because we need to uh, <coughs> make decisions around open enrollment seats in January. So that's really the first kind of stop point that you've got to be able to do some pretty solid projections around enrollment. <coughs> to make any kind of changes right now starts to unravel all of the projections that started last January, right? So projections around open enrollment seats and how many resident students and ten, ultimately how much staff is really the, the more challenging piece. But we will bring that back around in a workshop because it is something I'd like to talk about and um, even maybe going a little further is that there is a is there a point at which we want to reintroduce um, some level of choice that would be good for kids and good for the school district? And <coughs> that concludes my report. Okay. So we will move on to item eight, the board president's report, and uh, just a review of the calendar. Uh, so today, August 27th, we have our regular Board of Education meeting. Following that, we have a workshop, communication and community relations on board policy development. And immediately following that, we do have a closed session. On Monday, September 10th, starting at 6 p.m., we have a regular Board of Education meeting. And following that, we have a learning and technology workshop on achievement gap reduction. On Monday, September 17th, starting at 5.30, there is the new teacher meet and greet gathering here in this room. And at 6 o'clock is our public budget hearing on the 2018-2019 district budget. On Monday, September 24th, starting at 6 p.m., we have a regular Board of Education meeting. <coughs> do any board members have any items to add, community goings? I do. Yeah? Thanks. This is a, a letter I received, <coughs> excuse me, from Shelley Strasser. It's Recreation and Community Service Department, uh, West Dallas, West Milwaukee, RCS Recreation Service Construction Center. Date, update number one. August 15th, Steve Brody, Tim Williamson, Sally Strasser, Dan Davis, C.G. Schmidt interviewed prospective architects for recreation center construction project. Criteria used to select a firm were team chemistry, communication, company delivery approach, experience on similar projects, and fees. The committee selected Groff Design Group for architectural portion of the project. August 23, 2018, Groff Design Group hosted a project kickoff and introduced to us the team we would be working with. Representing the district and department were Superintendent Marty Lexman, Steve Rohde, Linda Gritzmacher, Casey <coughs> Stanton, Shelley Strasser, and excuse Dan Bailey. The following items were discussed during the meeting. Defining what a successful project will look like for us. Lessons learned from previous projects working with the community in the city of West Dallas. Budget verification and reporting. 
project budget format, cost control tools and reporting, designing construction process, communication, involvement, schedules, spaces, etc. Next steps, meeting dates and attendees, survey, survey soil borings, contracts, etc. Shelley will continue to regularly update the board through recreation and the community service committee. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have anything else? Let's go. I just wanted to say publicly that this morning was fantastic and thank you for bringing that type of stuff to the district. I think it was really powerful and you know, keep that growth mindset, keep pushing, keep pushing. It was, it was awesome. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, we'll look to move on. Um, item 9, the consent agenda. Item 9.1, the approval of minutes from the 8-13-18 regular Board of Education meeting. Item 9.2, the employment summary. Item 9.3, the supplementary contracts. And item 9.4, the financial summary. Would anyone like any of those items removed? I would like to remove item 9.3 and have that separated, please. We would then look for a motion on items 9.1, 9.2, and 9.4. Move to approve. Second. All right, that's been moved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, then item 9.3, the supplementary contracts. Do we have a motion to accept? Move to approve. Oops, I just wanted to, I, want, I would like it, I wanted to vote oh. separately on that, so that's all. Did you get a second? Not yet. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. All right. Um, items 10 are action items. We are going to skip item 10.1 and go on to item 10.2, the transgender board policy second reading. Um, good evening. So the transgender policy is coming forward for a second read. There were a few um, spacing and kind of technical issues with it, but no suggestions to the wording changes. So it's coming back in its um, same format for a second read. Okay, um, any questions? Right. Second. Right, it's been moved and approved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, that passes. Okay. Okay. Apparently I was so excited for the transgender policy <laughs> to be approved. I forgot to acknowledge that um, Jason Fish is here and we just formally approved him as the new principal at Frank Lloyd Wright Intermediate School. Speech, what do you want here? <laughs> it's a passing of the baton. I'm all about the passing. Should I stay right here? Or? Sure, it's a microphone. Well, thank you to all of you. I am uh, extremely humbled by this opportunity to be the principal of Frank Lloyd Wright. I know the, the process uh, with the staff that came out, which I had no idea until this all happened that um, uh, I can really foresee great things going and continuing to happen at Frank Lloyd Wright. I'm extremely excited. I think it's a, a wonderful opportunity and I'm privileged. So I don't know if any of you have any questions for me, but um, I'm just excited. Congratulations. Yeah, no. Congrats. Just a comment. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Have a great year and I know you'll do well. Thank you. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, just Thank want, you. I want to say congratulations too because I've heard, heard nothing but great things yes. and I'm really glad we got to keep you. Um, <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good year. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll move on to item 10.3 base wage increase for teachers in the 2018 2019 school year. Mr. Weaver. So, um, Jeff and I, along with the teachers union, uh, met last week and discussed uh, base salary and we agreed on 2.13% which is the amount that CPI but also all other um, groups received as well. So we're looking to approve that for this coming school year. Move to approve. Second. Second. I have to oh. recuse myself. Okay. Yeah. 
Was there somebody else that said that? Just we just all said second. That was <laughs> 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 two seconds and a <laughs> recusal at the same yeah. time. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded. Any additional questions or comments? All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And then item 10.4, base wage increase for educational assistance in 2018-2019 school year. Mr. Weaver. Perfect, with Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Uh, we had the opportunity to also meet with the educational assistants um, and ourselves to discuss the exact same situation of a 2.13% added to the base uh, wage. We agreed to that and we would like to apply that for this coming school year, 18-19. Move to approve. Second. Second. Right. It's been moved and approved and seconded. Any additional comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Item 10.5, WEA Health Plan Renewal Contract. Mr. Weaver and Mr. Thompson. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, we had a workshop on this two weeks ago, and then uh, we had further discussion with WEA as well as Hayes, our um, consultant for healthcare. And um, after some going back and forth, some plan design changes, which are all put into the action item that you saw um, in front of you, uh, we are looking to renew our contract with, with WEA with the change of removing the waiver of premium and with going from two uh, um, plans down to two, uh, I'm sorry, from three plans down to two plans going forward. And that would be for active and retirees. I will also. Okay. And just to, Go ahead. No. just to be clear, so that reduction we saw was an R percent decrease, right? So yes, we're at 9.9 percent .9 originally with those two concessions, and now we'll be at 8.9 8 percent for that renewal rate. Correct. It started at 9. Point, or it started at uh, oh man, 20. Well, 20. Yeah, well, it started at 20. It's down to 13.5, and then after those reductions or changes. It will now be at 8.9 percent. Correct. I think it's important to show the process we went through. We didn't take the first offer. We didn't take the second nope. offer. We didn't take the third offer. And so we're really doing <laughs> our due diligence to ensure that not only we're getting uh, what I think is very good insurance coverage for our employees, but also that we did our due diligence to make sure we're doing our fair share to ensure the taxpayers are not being overly charged for it. So absolutely, and WEA has been a great partner up to this point, and. It, and I continue, hopefully continues with that partnership, and Hayes has been instrumental in our negotiations as well. And that includes a continued partnership for the Wellness Center, which yep. is producing. We will have the Wellness Center moving forward until that contract ends as and well. And they're giving us the monetary benefit for that as well, right? The reimbursement of a monthly plus per visit, absolutely. I think the other thing to point out and kind of highlight is, again, the steps that we took to get here. And the double-digit increases are really the norm. Um, so getting anything below that really is an exception. Um, and, and I know we had talked about the possibility, you know, we, we could potentially look at other um, companies to see what kind of rates they could give. Um, and, and I think it's important to note um, something that was discussed, that a lot of times they'll come in with really good rates for that first year, and you're going to see a drastic increase um, in, in the subsequent years, and you're going to be in the same type of situation. Um, so, so again, important to note that we did our whole homework um, really all the way through this to make sure that we were doing the best thing possible. Thank you. Any additional comments or questions? All right, so we have two recusals. Um, do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, any additional comments or questions? All right, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Thank you. Onward. Thank you. All right, uh, item 11. Board member suggestions for future agenda items. Noah? So I just wanted to check on, I had asked about a workshop for looking at the GPA requirements for extracurricular activities. I had the spot <coughs> on the calendar as such yet, and it would probably be a very fast one, so maybe it could be put with an additional workshop that we have, but just wanted to check on that. Yep. Yeah, there's a number of them that I still have to slot in from the last time. Right. Um, Stephanie and Heather and I looked at the list and talked about it. And you'll be able to an uh, updated calendar, so the, the blanks from the year are up there. So once the ones that have to happen to, because of the sequence, sure. then we can start filling in the rest. Okay. Absolutely. Yep. It's still on the list. I knew okay. that last okay. time that was still there. We haven't removed it and not told you. I didn't think <laughs> 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 I think you pulled the frog out. Sure. Any other 
Uh, I did have yep. a couple. Uh, the second, I mean, you, you, Dr. Lexman had mentioned about the elementary uh, level looking at siblings, being able to follow their older siblings. I just wanted to reiterate that as a, a request for a workshop on that to look at the hard numbers as far as how many students we'd be looking at and if that would work with the school level um, uh, enrollment levels that we have currently. And lastly, it's kind of an odd one. It, it's something that I brought up in the past, it's not really been embraced, but I would love to have like a Google Calendar with all the school-wide events that are on it that board members could say, I'm going to this, I'm, I'm, so that we would know, sometimes when I'm looking at all the things that are at all the various schools, well, what things do I pick? And I try to pick things, you know, kind of varied so that each school kind of gets equal, equal amount of people there, but sometimes it isn't the fact. And sometimes I'm the only person there, other times there's, you know, four or five of us there. And I think it'd be great to be able to try to spread that a little bit, you know, because I know we all care about all of the schools, but sometimes because of schedules and whatnot, it's difficult for us to determine that. For me, it'd be a decision point. I can look and say, oh, well, you know, there's two people or three people already good planning on going to this one thing. Maybe I'll, I'll look for something else that might fit my schedule. So if we could have something like that that would be accessible to the board members electronically, mm -hmm. and then people, I mean, they don't have to use it, but you know, I would encourage people to use it if they were planning to go to something to put it on the calendar. That's a great idea. Yeah. Well, we can do it. Great idea. Great idea. Anybody else have any other topics to add? Okay. If not, we will look to take a quick five-minute recess while we take down the cameras and then go into workshop. Thank you.